Hello my friends, welcome to Inside Out Electronic Channel. This is Uncle Misha and today we have happened to fix again our favorite headset Logitech. Where is the freaking name here? Logitech. Where is it? Oh, probably it was on this um, on this thing. Logitech G930, which is, you know, as you see and as I expected, broke on other side. So we have fixed right here this side also I glued and still holding this thing this thing is fine but this uh, arm is bust so today we have to do uh, disassemble this side and replace it with already 3d printed a, a bracket or the um, handle so this one is actually symmetrical you can use it like this or you can do use it like this because that this guy is not symmetrical you won't be able to flip it around so this obviously makes it not as comfortable and as it used to be but i don't really care if i ever gonna find broken headset like this i'm gonna just buy it for those uh, arms and if I would be able to find time to model it and maybe find a resin 3D printer, I would 3D print it. But for now I have to do with what I have. And this headset is still a really good one and I would like, uh, like to use it as much as possible. It beats heads down every Bluetooth headset I ever had. So, let's do it. So for this we have to unscrew those two screws and we'll see what else we have to unscrew i hope we don't have to take down all this one but let's see i kind of i've done it already once on this side but i forgot so let's this too big of a screwdriver and this is too big of a screwdriver man okay so we removed five screws right here uh, from this plate and also there are five screws sitting still here one two three four five this is the earpiece so now let's uh, let's open this and see what we got okay so obviously we got the battery on this side so battery right here hmm I see more a little bit of a problem how the heck so now in order to free this wire from over here I would have to somehow magically unscrew over here this um, this little bolt but in order to do that like it, it essentially it's not accessible like no freaking way you can maybe you can can you no it's impossible you're gonna break your screwdriver so what are you gonna do snip 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 that's the only option. This, unfortunately, the only yeah. Am I am I wrong? Yeah, it is. That's the only option. That's sad, of course. It's very sad. So I have to snip it here and here. You know, then I have to snip it here. If I'm gonna model it, obviously I'm gonna keep those pieces around so I free. It all the way and then ah, it's sad but they have no other choice the reason I just not regluing it because I know it's gonna break again so that's not that's not an option plus it's gonna look a uh, similar with this to the other arm so okay the battery dangling Okay, let's do it on this side first. Okay, I don't want to break what's unnecessary. Okay, don't break anything. Come out. So if I'm gonna remodel it, I'm gonna just you know glue it together and you know and model. It. So I'm gonna keep all those pieces, and then this guy 
again have to do it super carefully not to break anything unnecessary Mm, this one is resisting It's actually tough plastic. I still cannot drop my mind. How this is It was glued managed to, to break and it has another brake line right here. So yeah So if I ever gonna remodel it, so that's that's how it's supposed to look like Okay, so that's not gonna be thrown away. So that's gonna be put nicely It is gonna be pulled out of here Come here. Yeah, okay. So now is our. So this is the battery. Also, there is uh, something interesting I want. I want to take a look how easy it is to replace this battery if I can MacGyver some other battery. So we don't have much of a space here. I thought it's gonna be more space, but looks like we don't have. There is also those um, openings, which is probably important for the uh, sound quality. So let's see what we have inside inside here can I pry this open yes I can now oh, it's glued or something I want to see um, what kind of control I um, I see is um, if any if this is the yellow one is a thermistor or uh, some sort of protocol I see so that's very important okay. Okay, so I think I think no one actually done the tear down of this particular one, right? Or what? Or wrong? Anyways, I'm not sure if I first I'm, I'm the first one, but this is this curious. So it's a little bit more than I expected right here. So definitely there is some cheapies. There are cheapies here. Okay, so we have. It's really hard to say, but it's so tiny. So we have one kind of strange, long, cheap one, three pins on this side and three pins on that side. And we have also some kind of other pin, which is BJT or something. It's a. I don't see pin. No, it 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 is. It's a QQFN package. Again, three pins on one side, and three pins on another side. Wow, that's cool. I need to kind of zoom in to see what are those guys here. I'm gonna take a close-up photo. I will try my best to take a close-up photo and we kind of analyze. The reason I'm doing all this, I wanna see if, uh, if I can MacGyver some other battery instead of this battery and to see if, for example, cell phone battery gonna be good um, uh, replacement for this one. And another option, I gonna just detach those two and, not, and connected to any freaking uh, 18360 I'm not sure uh, if uh, 650 I mean if it's gonna fit here I don't think it's gonna fit it seems like a lot of space but it's not much really space because of the of the uh, the speaker enclosure yeah so that's interesting I will try to make a photo right now Okay, I've done some close-up photo of this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually place it back just like like that. I'm not I'm going to put it in back in, in its original container. Just because I'm definitely gonna replace it. And I think it has enough charge these days left in it. So yeah, it's gonna be staying like it is. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit rattly, but uh, you know what? I don't want it to be rattly. So yeah, I better fix it. I better fix it, I thought. It's gonna be super annoying if it's gonna be rattling. Okay, it shut down. Alright. So let's proceed with further repairs. So now we have to put this one inside. That goes like this. Okay. This wire would be pushed as much as possible inside and then it's gonna be fed through this hole 
then it's gonna be inserted all right here all right my friends I think I decided to to put this all back on because it's sort of hard it's very annoying so we're gonna when I try to fiddling with to fiddle with all this stuff so we're gonna place this on back on just like this try to push pull as much wire inside here okay then install this thingy on top yep because this battery was all over the shop and I just screwed it in I'm gonna keep this part just for reference what kind of battery I have to buy or to MacGyver something I think MacGyvering battery replacement would be a separate video so uh, I have to pick something proper and we're gonna do a separate video just for that so back to our okay now it's a little bit easier to operate so what I've done here so I would like to replace those um, silvery screws with the black ones it's gonna be just looking nice also I'm gonna use this nylon um, uh, nuts because when I uh, they are sort of built it would gonna have built-in um, nylon lockers in sort of in a way and I'm gonna you're gonna replace this a gray one with the black one as well so we have two I printed so I actually printed three just in case if I break something so I have it all ready so just uh, let's install a first on this side I'm gonna just go like this gonna have my favorite little micro four millimeter bit holder or micro screwdriver it's a bit fiddly so it has this uh, little lock or or stopper actually which not gonna make this headset turn you know completely so it's gonna stop this way and it's gonna stop this way so yeah you may keep them flat like this or like this that's it it's not gonna turn upside down um, inside out <clears throat> okay so this side is good so here we are it's looking oh I think it's looking a little bit better still those screws are a little bit too long for my liking I just don't have any shorter screws so that's uh, that's good well, I had another option that I would use completely again nylon screw and nylon bolt it will be even better I think but again the nylon screws I have or nylon bolts they are too short yeah, not gonna cut it. So let's just uh, unscrew this side. I'm gonna do it off camera, and then we install another one like this with two more nuts and two more M3 bolts here. Okay, so what I've done here, obviously, I replaced, uh, put the black. Uh, stopper right here and obviously the the first one I put it over here also installed back the the pads and everything is together so now this headset is symmetrically ugly on both sides so this side is busted and this side is busted but at least it looked like um, some techno headphones right and uh, yeah it could clearly a DIY, DIY job so what uh, I'll try to do maybe in the future I'll try if I have time obviously I'll try to model these bits and pieces especially this one uh, which is busted if I have um, ability because I'm it's it's very irregular shapes so that would be not easy to model in some kind of parametric modeling this uh, software so yeah, but I'll, 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 I'll try to model it. Another option is to buy a sort of same shape cheap headsets, let's say um, wired, one of the wired models and just replace these guys if, if they are compatible first, of course, if they are compatible. So if, if I would be able to model it, I would, I would gladly replace it. But the problem is even for 3D printing it has to be a pretty good 3D printer in order to print this nicely. 
Uh, of course, something like resin printer or SLS uh, or SLA printer would be really good for this sort of purpose. But yeah, if you have FDM printer, it may may not look too good, especially this side. But you obviously have to use lots of support and things things like that. But the main thing is to have actually a 3D model of this broken part. So I'm gonna keep all these bits and pieces, these bits of plastic and stuff like that I, I yanked and, and cut because I do really want to make sure it's actually compatible. And another thing, it would be very easy to, if you have a, for example, a right hand side model, you can be, it can be very easy to mirror it to have it left hand side. So that's kind of, um, uh, in, three, in modeling software it's easy. This one will be probably would be nice to model as well. Uh, there's a possibility also to scan it. I'm not sure how precise scanning it would be because it has quite a bit of intricate details as you see right here. So yeah, but who knows. And uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I hope that was useful for you and this was kind of funny video how we uh, continuously refurbishing this LG G920. I think this is really decent headset. It will be a shame to see it dead. Um, so next probably gonna be replacing the battery. Also, I see this start fraying. Maybe I'll replace this with something else. Maybe I'll use a um, how do you call it? TPU plastic in order to come up with some kind of interesting solution instead of this. Um, kind of uh, leathery material, synthetic leather material. Um, uh, one of the bad uh, things is this wire right here. It's a bit annoying how it is kind of protruding, but I have no other options and it doesn't really bother me. As long as it's not going to be a, a snugging or rubbing into something, I think it's going to be fine. So guys, I hope that was useful and um, and probably gonna be laughing at me because I'm trying to uh, salvage this headset as much as possible. But for some people who like something a lot and it actually works quite well, why would you spend money, especially in these days of economy, if you can fix it yourself and save planet from the garbage, save money for something else? Um, all right. I hope this video was useful. If you have any comments and ideas help to improve anything here, please fire away, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Stay tuned and stay safe.